Hello, I'm Rev Trina Chryso. Welcome to this short service, a family service about Advent for the Beacons and Flints of Haddon Ministry area. Please do join in. All the words and music are provided. Thank you. We are in the time of the church year called Advent. It will soon be Christmas when Christians across the world will celebrate the birth of Jesus, the baby born to be saviour and king. Let us be happy as we give our thanks and praise to God. We take this opportunity to say sorry for things we have done which we know are wrong and we ask God's forgiveness as we try to think of what other people need and not just think about ourselves. Our first hymn is Little Donkey. prayers. Today we'll use our thumb and fingers to help us pray for others and ourselves. Our thumbs, which are the closest to us, are our family and friends. We pray that you, Lord, will keep them safe and happy. Our first finger is for those who point us in the right direction. We pray for all those people who work hard to help others and are good role models. Teachers, scout and guide leaders, doctors and nurses and many more. Our tallest finger is for those who are in authority, those who help keep us safe, such as the police, the government, 
the Army, Navy and Air Force, firemen, lifeboat crews, mountain rescue, ambulance crews and all other people who risk their lives to save ours. We pray that with the help of God they will act wisely and with compassion. Our ring finger is for those who need our help and prayers, those who don't have enough food to eat or homes to live in, and for those who are ill, scared or unhappy. We pray that God will reach the hearts of those who can help others in need, we pray that God's love will comfort them and give them hope. Our smallest finger is for ourselves. In the days leading up to Christmas, we pray that we will find room in our hearts for Jesus and that we will be faithful to Christ and kind to others. Amen. We join together in saying our Lord's Prayer in the language of our choice. Ein tar ar hwn uitan yn efoi sanctaigir de enw, deled de dairnas, gwneler de awallus, megis yn y nef, felly ar y ddaiar hefyd. Dyro i ni heddiw ein bara benyddiodd, a maddau i ni ein dyledion, fel y maddaion minnau i'n dyledwyr, ac nac arwain ni i brofedigau, aeth yr gwared ni rhag drwg. Canes aeddo ti yw'r deirnas ar nerth a'r gogoniant yn oes oesoedd. Amen. Our next hymn is At the Name of Jesus. Our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. Then Mary said, I praise the Lord with all my heart. I'm very happy because God is my Saviour. I am not important, but he has shown his care for me, his lowly servant. From now until the end of time, people will remember how much God blessed me. 
Yes, the powerful one has done great things for me. His name is very holy. He always gives mercy to those who worship him. He reached out his arm and showed his power. He scattered those who are proud and think great things about themselves. He brought down rulers from their thrones and raised up the humble people. He filled the hungry with good things, but he sent the rich away with nothing. God has helped Israel, the people he chose to serve him. He did not forget his promise to give us his mercy. He has done what he promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. And we listen to the music, a setting of the Magnificat, which you've just heard. It's called All That I Am. We all have our individual Christmas customs, routines that we do every year because they're important to us. Families will develop their own routines for what they eat, what films they watch together or what games they play. They may go all out with Christmas jumpers 
and see who can find the funniest or the brightest one to wear. Some Christmas customs are shared by lots of families within one country or kingdom. We have lots here in the United Kingdom that many families will follow. Are any of these customs things that your family does? Leaving Christmas stockings to be filled. Singing and playing carols. Eating turkey and all the trimmings. Decorating your house with holly and mistletoe. Putting up a nativity scene. Opening an advent calendar each day. Hoping Father Christmas will visit and leaving him a mince pie and a carrot for the reindeer. Giving Christmas cards. Going to carol services. Giving presents. Being kind and generous to people because it's Christmas. Well, here are some rather different Christmas customs from other countries. In a city in Venezuela, which is in South America, and the city is Caracas, the roads are all closed on Christmas Eve and everyone uses rollerblades to go to church. I can't imagine what it must be like in church with everybody taking their rollerblades off and leaving them somewhere around. I hope they don't get into a muddle as to whose are whose. And in the city of San Fernando in the Philippines, they light thousands of lanterns to illuminate the sky, like the star over the Bethlehem stable. In Iceland, the 13 days before Christmas are very important. Each day, the children leave their shoes by their window. And if they've been good, they get sweets. But if they have been naughty, they get rotten potatoes in their shoes. Ooh. In Finland, on Christmas morning, families eat a sort of porridge made of rice and milk, topped with cinnamon, milk and butter. They hide an almond in the pudding, and whoever gets the almond wins. Then later, they all have a hot steam bath together, a sauna. In Denmark, families put their Christmas tree in the middle of the room. Then they all dance around it, singing carols. In Ireland, families leave a tall red candle in a front window overnight to show welcome to others. In Poland, families wish each other a Merry Christmas as they share a big biscuit. But they do not have their Christmas dinner until they see the first star in the night sky. I wonder what happens when it's cloudy. In Switzerland, families make an advent calendar by using a bag for each day, which contains a present for everyone. The biggest presents are given on Christmas Eve. In Central American countries like El Salvador, Christmas is celebrated by firework displays. I wonder if there's anything that your own family does that's special for you that perhaps other families don't do. What do you see in a church at Christmas time? A Christmas tree? An Advent candle ring? Perhaps other things? Nativity? So why is Christmas important to Christians? It's a celebration of when God sent his son to earth as a baby, born in a stable in Bethlehem. As Jesus grew up, he told everybody about God and showed that it is important to be sorry for our sins and to receive forgiveness from God. We give other people gifts at Christmas to remind us that Jesus gave everything he had for us. So if we give to other people, it helps us to be nicer people because we're thinking of others. We put up Christmas lights to remind ourselves that Jesus is the light of the world and he lights up the dark spaces within us and outside us. We sing carols to remind us of God's love and we can praise God too. 
We think of Father Christmas as a kind person giving presents, and we can do the same. We put up an evergreen tree to remember that God's love, seen through Jesus on earth, lasts forever. The star on the tree reminds us of the star above the stable where Jesus was born, the star that guided the shepherds and the wise men. Remember, without Jesus' birth, there would be no Christmas. Sometimes we forget about that amidst all the decorations and sparkles in the shops. That first Christmas, when Jesus was born, was a very simple Christmas without fuss. But what a huge impact Jesus made from that very humble start. Amen. Our final hymn is Long Ago Prophets New. final prayer. Let's say this together. Lord Jesus, light of light, you have come among us. Help us who live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>